Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is my fun run of God Hand, hard no damage. This is chapter 4 8, another God Hand. And this is Azel. So, Azel is. God, he's such a nightmare. He is a really interesting boss in a lot of ways, and he's a really bullshit boss in a lot of other ways. And the run that you're watching here is not going to be the most interesting to watch. It's not as good as some of the practice runs that I was going for, where he hit me somewhere towards the end of the fight and ruined all the great things that had happened before but it speaks volumes of what God Hand is. You can't really control Azel too well outside of a couple of interesting jab exploits and using uh, two specific moves that he has a very hard time evading and instead he'll either block or get hit so you can use this to kind of condition him into guard breaking and, and beating him that way. But if you don't use the uh, the jabs to condition his behavior and you don't use those two moves that are so effective against him it becomes a, a really interesting situation of trying to avoid falling into the traps that Azel lays for you and one of the most successful ways that I failed this particular challenge was when I was chasing him after a launch kick you'll notice it knocks him into the wall and he has to recover and then you start fighting again but unfortunately when you run towards him, if he does his jab, which is one of the fastest moves in the game, he can recover out of that animation and hit you before you can jab him, and that right there was a real scary moment. That's another move that I really dislike, because it's got really quick start-up and it cannot be interrupted. But the general gist of what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to provoke him into blocking, and then I'm going to exploit his block and do as much damage as I can. Whenever you use a guard break, whenever you use a high attack, whenever you use any kind of launcher, Azel will do an automatic dodge and an automatic counter. It is a hard wiring in his programming. So if you ever go for a guard break and when he's not blocking, he will sweep. If you ever go for a launcher, he will sweep. If you ever go for a high, high attack, he will sweep. However, if he lets it hit, awesome. If he blocks it, can be bad because it can put you in an awesome and an awful stun. But for the most, you have to react as if every time you try any of those moves, that he's going to auto-counter them. And you'll notice the way I'm dealing with this is I'm backflipping and I'm side-dodging. Because the sweep is, it's just pre-programmed fire, that's all it is, guys. It's going to come back at you every time. And you have to condition yourself to do this because there's no situation where you will guarantee that you will hit that character unless you do those two moves, the heel drop and the stomping fist. Those two moves, for whatever reason, can only be blocked or hit. They cannot miss. He can't dodge them. And the, the low kick also has some interesting properties too. But I can't teach you how to get good at that fight, guys. You've got to fight it. And that took four hours to, to get that, what you just watched. And it wasn't impressive. It's not even that difficult. But I didn't have any of the tools that I wanted for that fight at that moment. So it made it much more difficult for me. And... Originally, I wasn't even using the, the god moves, I just wanted to have a one-on-one, -on -one, but he kept doing that bloody Sambo roulette bullshit and clipping me when I'd been fighting him for two minutes straight. I'd get him really close to the threshold, I'd get ready to do something fancy to finish him off, get the slow-mo, and he'd hit me with some bullshit. He'll frame trap me with a jab, he'll do the grab, and I'll backflip and it'll still get me because it's got a vacuum. So much annoyance, but a very, very taxing enemy, and when it goes right, it can be really fun. When it goes wrong, it's a nightmare. Thank you for watching. You take care now.